Hi, I'm Harlan Ackla with Fairway Mortgage. You're about to watch a short documentary about one of the most misunderstood financial retirement products available, reverse mortgages. These are true stories told by real people who at one time didn't even like the idea of reverse mortgages, but who did their research and eventually came to the conclusion that reverse mortgages are a sensible, smart, and safe part of retirement planning for a broad range of people. I trust you'll find the stories informative and maybe even life-changing for you and your family. I'm Carol Tavares and I'm 76 years old. Although I don't feel like it inside, I just look like it on the outside. <laughs> My husband and I were married in 1993. It was not our first time around. I had three children, he had one. Life is a challenge. Good boy. I've had some more serious challenges the last few years. Turn. Keep going. Whoa. Eric is my middle boy, and he is disabled. And he's 56. He's wheelchair bound and has been for 35 years. Then I had my mom here for a while living with me. And she passed away in June and she was a handful. And then I have Joe, my husband, who's been diagnosed with early Alzheimer's. I see him slipping away. Okay, let's go look at the bed. Eric has always been my responsibility. I try and help him as often as I can. His van was in real bad shape. It was coughing and choking and not getting him where he needed to go. And if he didn't have a van, he wouldn't be able to go anywhere. He's housebound. We knew we had to do something and I was so frustrated. I just didn't know which way to turn. Carol is quite a lively, personable individual. Someone such as Carol is in a position of having a lot of equity in, in their home but no cash. She didn't have access to the cash value available in her home. We have a mortgage. I was struggling to pay the house off because my idea and my dream or my thoughts were that you should have a house paid for if you want to retire. Joe wanted me to get a reverse mortgage and I fought him every step of the way. I didn't think he understood the ramifications of a reverse mortgage. So I kept saying no, no, no. And Joe kept seeing Tom Selleck on television selling reverse mortgages. And my thought is, well, you're kidding me. Tom Selleck surely doesn't have a mortgage, let alone a reverse mortgage. My daughter called me and she says, Mom, I think you should look into it again. Things are different. A reverse mortgage is you're taking your money out of your house, you have access to that money. If something happens to you, the house is still in your name and your beneficiaries can still sell the house and have the, whatever money's left after they pay the reverse mortgage off. I started thinking about this reverse mortgage and all of a sudden, I, you're not gonna believe this, but it hit me how old I am. I'm going to die eventually, and all that money's going to be in the house, and I'm not going to see it. Eric never eats sweets, except when it comes to the lemon meringue pie. Forget it. He could eat a whole pie. <laughs> oh, I feel so good about Eric. When I got this reverse mortgage and I talked to him about the van, I said, I, I want to help you. I want to fix that van. I want to know that you're going to get to my house on Christmas. And he got tears in his eyes. I got tears in my eyes. Oh, my God. And he goes, but mom. I said, but mom, nothing. What, what, what would I be doing with this money? OK, sonny boy, mama's going. I love you. Love you too, man. I love you more. <laughs> I didn't leave myself out. The first thing I did was I got an air conditioner and I also bought myself a new king-size bed. And I want to have my kitchen cabinets painted white. Getting a reverse mortgage has really changed my life. I feel secure. I've got the money, I can do it, I can live. 
I don't have to worry about losing my house. I don't have to worry about making the house payment. I only have to pay taxes and insurance. I'm real happy with the reverse mortgage and considering how negative I was, I can't believe it's me, but it's true. I have a lot of compassion for people that don't like reverse mortgages because I hated them. And I told people, whatever you do, don't get a reverse mortgage. They're bad for you, they're bad for your kids, you're gonna lose your house. All the misconceptions that people say to me all the time. And then one day I got an invite to go to a seminar. That three-day seminar changed my life. The truth is, is there's a lot to like. Everybody has three buckets of wealth. Bucket one is the money that we make and are able to make when we work. And after we stop working, the ability to make Social Security income, pension income, whatever it is. Bucket two is the money we put aside for the future. And that's money that we put aside in 401ks, 403bs, IRAs, all the different retirement vehicles, or just regular savings plans, or of course life insurance contracts. But what we've also done is taking hundreds of thousands of dollars and dumped it into bucket three. That's our home equity. What's interesting though, when we start looking for where do we pull money from, bucket one is usually not big enough. So we turn to bucket two where we've got our savings account. What we don't realize is all of that equity that we had in bucket three, we can turn that into cash also. What's wrong with using it? But for most people, they block that off and say, no, that's stuck and they're gonna leave it in the walls of my house and not touch it. And one of the biggest single things that I hear over and over again, which is, I want to give my house to my kids free and clear. It's almost laughable because most children are never going to use the house to move into. It's really strange, but everybody wants to give their house to their kids. So the odd thing is, is that if we were going to give our kids a Christmas present uh, and we knew they were going to take it back to the store, we'd probably give them cash or a gift card. But in the case of a house, everybody wants to give their house to their kids and their kids are going to take that equity and convert it into cash just as quickly as they can. The best time to use a reverse mortgage is at the beginning of retirement, not at the end. If you do a reverse mortgage at the beginning of retirement, instead of waiting until you're 82 or 92 when you run out of money, what happens is, is that you'll end up with a larger legacy, you pay less in taxes, and you have more cash flow while you're alive. A reverse mortgage is kind of like you're guaranteed not to lose. So FHA mortgage insurance guarantees that no matter when you pass away, no matter how big the bill gets, no matter what happens to the stock market or the interest rates or any of those things, you will never owe more than what the house is worth and you will never have a bill left for your children and you will never have to make a payment no matter how long you live. So if it's good, it goes to the children. If it's bad, the bill goes to FHA. You don't know if you're gonna win for sure, but you're guaranteed not to lose. My name is Robert Charles Smith. They call me Robert or RC. The most momentous event I happened was when I met my bride. We got married at 19 years old. So we've been married for 64 years, still sleeping with the same woman. Right? Mm -hmm. So anyway, it, that's, that's what happens. Mr. Pastor, you're going to carry this in. We've been givers all of our life. Thank you. Well, the most important thing to us is to support different charities. We're supporting five or six missions, several at home, our church. Let's bless you before we leave. We support five missionaries around the world, Costa Rica, Taiwan, Sri Lanka, and Indonesia. So bless Tim and bless all of his workers. In your name we pray, amen. 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 We moved from Northern California to Oceanside in 2017. We bought this place here, 120,000 down, and then we had the monthly payment, $1,800 a month. Then we said, wait a minute, what if we had a reverse mortgage? Why do we want to have money in dirt that we can't get our hands on, it can't be useful to us, and that if we had, if we could pull the money out, then all of these missions are going to be able to receive a check every single month. So uh, that's exactly what we did. 90% of the senior population can benefit from a reverse mortgage. You could have clients who are with a net worth of $10 million and there's absolute benefit to having the reverse mortgage. So for Robert and Judy, they fall into the category of having done a good job of setting up for retirement. They have all of their ducks in a row. 
as far as their assets saved up to where they won't outlive their savings. Their ability to put the reverse mortgage in place freed up a significant amount of money, $1,800 a month, that they can now use towards their mission work. So what we thought was, this is really fun. We can give away money now. What I would say to someone that is suspicious of reverse mortgages, it has all the protections that you need. If you like to make a payment, make it to yourself, for goodness sake. Take the $1,800 and run down here and I'll help you find the broker or give it away. Give it to people that need it.